you know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Woo. I know. Ooh. So those Y straps have been working well for you. Oh my god, yes. It's amazing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Life changing. It's a game changer, oh that's my for god. sure. Yes. We got a patient with rheumatoid arthritis. That affects like all the the limbs, the digits of the hands. But you know, not just that, you've had kind of a slew of other other things going on. Oh definitely. You got a nice another pop right there, which I know. is nice. That's great. So it's crazy just getting those spinal joints moving again. Hydrated. It's like WD-40 <laughs> for the spine. Spinal joints, that makes such a big difference. So it's a trip. When you have uh, inflamed joints and you get scar tissue, basically it sends these like crazy stress signals to your brain. And those stress signals are called nociception. What happens is in turn, your brain thinks it's kind of like under attack and you release a ton of stress hormones like cortisol. Mm -hmm. And it basically puts your body in this always like stressed out, sympathetic alarm state. So just from like spinal joint inflammation, it can cause this like cascade of like stress in the body. So then when I go in there and adjust those joints, which is crazy, you go in there and adjust them, you're breaking through that inflammation, you're breaking through that scar tissue with that mobility, instead of sending nociceptive firings to your brain, which is those stress signals, it sends proprioceptive input to your brain which are like these like really good signals for your brain and all of a sudden it helps normalize everything. You activate memory, concentration, you lower your heart rate, your blood pressure, because your body's not under like that alarm state anymore. And when you're in that like homeostasis, that balanced state, that's the state you need to be in to start kind of healing and return to like, you know, normal function, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all from like spinal joints, that's why People never want to talk about things like, you know, your dizziness, your headaches, all these like, you know, blurry vision, things that you never assume that could be helped with chiropractic. Mm -hmm. Usually we, you don't even mention those things until we actually ask you about them directly. And it's because of the changes it makes to your brain, in turn, your body just like normalizes and function. Oh wow. Kind of a trip, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Occasionally, with rheumatoid arthritis, you can have, there's this ligament that holds like your um, C1 and C2 together, mm -hmm. your top two vertebra. It's called their transverse ligament. Okay. Sometimes when you have rheumatoid arthritis, that ligament can be um, um, dysfunctional and it uh, can be like lax. Uh -huh. So if you ever like see yourself look up or down and you see like the separation of that bone, those joints, mm -hmm. then you would never be able to get any neck adjustments. So that's why you kind of check that and uh, um, yeah, you're good. Okay. One of the best things for you though is this Y strap because with your, how your neck curve is, mm -hmm. remember you have a curve, but it's only in the very top. Yeah. And it goes straight forward and all of a sudden it curves the last minute. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's compressed at the bottom there. And let your head fall back. There you go. Are you okay right there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Every time. Oh. A little bit lower on the right here. Nice and easy. Oh. Ooh. I think feels really good. There's just one more spot. Right. Oh, I feel spot it. Right there. Mm -hmm. Everything else is on point. Good. Things I love about coming here, it's like you're so thorough. Or like, you know, I told you I've gone to like many chiropractors, and it's like, okay, and they just do my neck, yeah. and then, you know, my back, and then like, okay, you're done. And yeah. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's honestly the same thing that Mike's same experience. A lot of times they only do regional stuff. So if you only have like neck pain, they're only gonna do your neck. Or if you only have primarily low back pain, you know, they do a low back adjustment. Yeah. They pretty much call it a day. Yeah. Or they throw you on a roller table. Um, do you know what that is? No. It's basically like a massage table. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you're not missing much. There we go. Love that. Pain-wise, I'm gonna say I was probably like a... Probably like a good solid eight to... Probably nine. Out of ten. Out of ten. Okay, when you start. Okay, yes. okay, okay. And okay. now I'm probably like a... 
I'm gonna say probably like a solid six to a five. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. But I've seen a big improvement in my shoulders. Good. A hundred percent. Good, nice. Because before, my my left shoulder was coming forward. It was. And I could feel, and I would try to like stand up straight, and I could feel all of this like tightness like right here in my chest. Right. Like this way. Right. And it would just hurt, and I would wake up every morning with that pain. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, I feel good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. It's a big difference. Oh yeah. Especially when you start your day off with shoulder pain, kind of, kind of sucks. Yeah. Put a damp damper on the day. Oh, definitely. Because I have to start my day with medication. Yeah. So before I was taking ibuprofen, like pretty much almost every day. That's amazing. And what are you taking it now? Mm, probably like one to two times a week. Okay. A week. Okay. Well, that's a huge decrease in medication. Yes. So even if you're even with less pain meds and your pain levels are lower, yeah, that is huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now your your situation's not the same. No. Before you were still in pain, but taking daily ibuprofen. Yeah. Now you're not taking daily ibuprofen, and your pain's less. Yes. So that's huge. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I was telling my aunt yesterday. I was like, man, I'm like, I'm going to see my chiropractor at least yeah. like twice a week. I'm like, and I've noticed a huge difference where I'm not taking the ibuprofen as I used to. Um, and she's like, yeah, continue going. And she's like, if it's making a difference, like you know go yeah. and she's like i'm sure you feel a lot of relief i'm like i do yeah. Yeah. and then with these little ear seeds i'm like yeah oh that's amazing <laughs> love to hear that yeah me yeah. too 